What's going on, everybody, and welcome to the other side of the firewall podcast, where it's about the latest and greatest in cybersecurity news, as well as we highlight those movers and shakers and glass ceiling breakers, those people of color have made to the other side of the proverbial firewall. My name is Ryan Williams, and as always, I'm joined by Shannon Times. What's up? What's up? What's going on? And returning uh, co host, we have Daniel uh, Acevedo. All right, let's go. What's going on? So uh, definitely continue to tune in throughout the week. So Monday, Tuesday, our topics, Wednesday, discussion. Thursdays will be Ask CISSP. Uh, this one should be Chelsea Pierre, uh, the returning uh, guest to the show. We've had her on uh, at least on two CISSP shows, but she's also host of the week. So definitely go back and look at all that good stuff and all of her initiatives. But then uh, if you have not already, please look at last week's Ask CISSP with uh, Kane McGladry. He is the field CISO at Hyperproof. It was really good talk about the future of GRC, AI, and what it can what, what it can do and what it shouldn't be doing, as well as uh, just the future of the role of CISO, because it's becoming very litigious. The SEC is becoming very aggressive, so it's a really good conversation. Definitely tune in for that one. Uh, and then Fridays, everything else. So movies, books, games, all that good stuff. But without further ado, I'll give it to Shannon. All right, everybody. So this article comes from Medium.com, uh, written by Lex Crumpton and Charles Clancy. And so the title of this one is Advanced Cyber Threats Impact Even the Most Prepared. And the most prepared they're talking about here is MITRE. Okay, so MITRE, for those of you that don't know, they they run heavy uh, when it comes to, you know, DOD, some of the three letters that are out there, you know, their organizations. Um, they're very heavy in D.C. Like if you go to D.C. area, you know, uh, they, they got a big strong foothold in there but um what's happening here is that they this article actually comes out and talks about how they actually got hacked right um, how they had a cybersecurity incident i'll say right um and these are guys that they're very big in the cyber cybersecurity so this just proves what we said before anybody can get got like it's not a one it's not one of these things where there's a 100 percent solution out there if you're going to be online doing it i guess if you're not online if you're like Ted Kaczynski out in a shack somewhere, you know, being the Unabomber. I guess you're safe then, but make sure you don't have a phone or anything on you because you can still get got that way. But um, what I like about this and what I like that that happened here is they go into everything when it came when it comes down to um, the incident overview, um, the attack techniques, um, the response efforts they did, and the reason for this, the reason that 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 this is put out there, and the reason that it's good is because this is how people learn. This is one of those things where. Um, if someone as mighty as miter uh, that was not an intentional play on words but as mighty as miter um can get got um them coming out with a lesson saying hey these are the techniques they use this is how they did it this is how we this is how we went about recovering from it they go into all of this in this article right and talk about it so um the fact that it wasn't hidden because we've done articles before where we see that some of these companies will try to hide stuff or they'll 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 uh, they'll try to pretend like it's not as serious as it was, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, we were attacked, but it wasn't this. And then give us some time. And then all of a sudden, you know, you got somebody out there like, nah, I got the receipts, man. Like <laughs> here it is right here. You know what I mean? I put it all out there, but um, I like to see things like this. And I think more companies should do this, right? Miter, I don't think they're going to fall anytime soon. Like they have such a big foothold yeah. when it comes to what they do. I don't think they're going to fall anytime soon. But the fact that they're like, Hey, this is how this happened. This is what happened. This is how we can all do better. Um, that's what I like about what, what they've done here. But Daniel, what's your thoughts on this? Man? No, no, it's great points there. And uh, Ryan, we talked about this kind of last week with Roku, right? They got owned um, and how they kind of disclosed and went about it. I said, you know, to kind of affect their stock price, right? And kind of affect their outlook in the public. But a company like MITRE, which is like, honestly, industry leading, right? they're the go-to, one of the big go-tos for cyber. If you don't know who MITRE is, like they do the MITRE attack, which is all the TTPs for all these kind of uh, persistent threat actors, so the methodologies, like whether it's uh, lateral movement, you know, how they maintain persistence within the network, all that kind of stuff. Miters at the forefront of disclosing all that stuff, creating uh, indicators of compromise and all that kind of good stuff that you can tie into your, your threat uh, analysis or threat intelligence platforms within an industry. Um, as well as like all the CVEs that go into the scanning of like, malware, antivirus, all that stuff. MITRE is like the go-to for all that kind of stuff. So I would be really surprised if, if they're publicly disclosed and like their their stock would take a dip because and I kind of mentioned this last week as, as well. Like another company last year, I don't know if it's CrowdStrike or one of the other companies had a similar situation, but they did the same thing. They disclosed everything 
and it kind of like dipped a little bit, but then it went back up or stayed even, right? So um, you can learn a lot from this article. It goes over everything, how the hackers got into the network through a zero day, how they moved laterally, what they did to move laterally, and then what they did to maintain persistence and then execute the, the vulnerability. It's a, it's a really great article to read through. Um, you know, I think uh, we'll see, and it's nothing, nothing new, right? Like these zero days, that's how they gained access or did initially through Avanti. Zero days is such a hard thing to um, prepare for, right? Because even the best endpoint protection or tools you have within your industry if a zero day is sophisticated enough and you're not using heuristics, even the best heuristics sometimes won't even pick it up, right? So no matter what you do with this type of attack, it's almost impossible to prevent it. Uh, but, you know, it's MITRE did everything right here. They even brought a third-party consultant in. Why would you do that? Obviously, they have to prove that there's nothing internally that caused the attack as well. And also, they need to go to court and they use that third party as well for the forensics part of it. To, to disclose like due diligence of due process, right? So, I mean, it's just a, it's like a class act from them, right? And the, they'll be fine after this, but that's my thoughts. What do you think, Ryan? You know, perfect time. And as you can see, I, I sneezed my headset off. <laughs> I'm dying off here. <laughs> the PC keeps uh, crashing. I got allergies are kicking my butt. Um, please like, share, subscribe. <laughs> Is the only way I can afford allergy medicines. If you patronize our site, <laughs> you can prevent my itchy eyes. No, enough seriousness. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. We're trying to get up to 500 su subs by May, June timeframe, and then 1,000 by the end of the year. Uh, with that uh, type of reach, we could do more with the channel, and uh, they could start paying us for the ads they're running for free right now. So <laughs> we can do some profit sharing, YouTube. Um, because we have to have a thousand subs, four thousand watch hours. So um, definitely uh, do all the things, like, share, subscribe. But uh, with the minor article, like, so I'm glad like Daniel shared this with us because um, we I've talked about it in the past. Uh, I think it was me, Shannon, and Chris actually about uh, uh, CISA uh, also falling to the Avante uh, uh, zero day. Right? It impacted the entire uh, federal uh, government. Uh, That's just what zero it. days do. So. The best you can do is hopefully find it before the bad guys find it um, through whatever, like Google, uh, threat hunting, things of that nature, um, or uh, the attackers make a mistake and, and identify themselves sooner rather than later. In this case, they were in the systems for quite a while, um, but as soon as CISA uh, figured it out, uh, they, they gave, I think it was like a 48 hour notice. Like if you have any of uh gear, you will shut it down immediately. Um, and that's what took place. So I, I think I, I like the transparency. So like we didn't learn a lot through uh, uh, CISA at the time. However, um, this minor article, like you said, breaks every, everything down, especially in the incident overview where it actually goes into like this is the equipment. Here's the zero day. Like Daniel said, here's how they move laterally. This is how they um, they were able to, uh, you know, do what they did with our, our VM systems and things of that nature. So very good like if if anything miter is always a teacher in the, in the industry like so if anybody's going to disclose and break it down properly it's going to be them uh, i first started to pay attention to miter not only because the department of defense you see them all over the place uh but it was the kill chain right learning the uh the miter kill chain was part of the like just learning how security work learning how reconnaissance and that how the bad guys get a foothold and they uh they move from there so it's always really cool it's a sexy title right i call it the yeah. kill game. Like, oh man i like that uh they've just been always cutting edge and, and leading the industry so just even within this like right in their disclosure it's like okay we're not going to just say we were hit we're going to break it down so that way everyone can learn from this we're going to run a clinic on it so we 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 get better as well as we, we teach you um through our uh lesson uh, so to speak. So I, I greatly appreciate it. And I, yeah, it's, a, it's an awesome article. Uh, you can find it on Medium uh, and it's posted elsewhere as well. So definitely check that out and I'll uh, attach it in the description as well. Uh, yeah, it's then, interesting. It's interesting because I, I, I forgot to mention too, like the last time Miter got hit was about the, of this, this scale was 15 years ago, which led them internally to create the Miter uh, ATT and, and CK, which is a huge okay. kind of like industry wide, right? So we'll, it's kind of curious to see what they'll develop from this, because like you said, they're like the teachers in the industry for this kind of stuff, right? 
Um, and it kind of goes shows to, goes to show like this company going 15 years without a, a compromise of this size for a company in their position. It kind of says a lot of how good they really are in this field. So um, it's going to be really interesting to see what what they develop from here, right? From this attack, like new methodologies and these kind of things. So it's really interesting. But, and, and like you said, they've been they've been you know industry leading for so right so. For them, it's not like they haven't been a target before now. No, yeah. Like you mentioned, like CVEs, when you go up and look up those CVEs, you know what I mean? Like, hey, this is, it. like, there are several companies that are using that, you know, to do their their, their antivirus and things of that nature, you know what I mean? It's um, kind of crazy. Or, yeah, it's kind of crazy because if you think you're not going to be attacked or you're not exposed, like, what got exposed? Avanti, one of the leading industries, world, like, for, you know, uh, scanning, antivirus, all that kind of stuff. And right. then laterally into VMware, which is one of the largest industry leading in, in a, a cloud and, you know, hypervisors and that kind of stuff too. So like, these are things that almost lots, almost every industry uses. Right. So yeah, go read this article. <laughs> yeah, if you're in the, yeah. If you're in this space, go read this article because you probably have this equipment and you need to pass some stuff right now. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, um, uh, it, so it's written by Lex Crumpton. So I now follow her on Medium, is where I, I got the article from. That's the one that Daniel uh, shared. Um, and she is a writer for Miter Ingenuity. She works for Miter, I believe. Uh, I need to go follow her on LinkedIn as well. But uh, excellent article. It really breaks it down. I think it's like a seven minute read. Um, and uh, again, I, I believe you guys are right. Like, not only cutting edge, leading, they're teaching, but like new methodology will come out of this as well. So, uh, so there's always a silver lining to these things. Uh, you just have to hope. Hopefully, the right people get hit. Right people care. So, Miter cares uh, as opposed to some other third party just like, eh, yeah. <laughs> unplug it, <laughs> plug something else in. Um, you know, no no lessons uh, learned there. So, definitely continue to tune in, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, again, you can find us all on pretty much all the social uh, platforms, either under uh, the other side of the firewall, the other side of the FW, or Ask CISSP. Uh, you can find me personally. I'm on LinkedIn, Clubhouse, Threads, kind of, uh, Twitter, I'm not going to call it uh, X, and uh, what is it, Medium, <laughs> LinkedIn, articles uh, for every episode, as well as a newsletter once a week. Uh, and then where can they find you, Daniel? LinkedIn, uh, LinkedIn probably for this kind of stuff. Yeah, definitely. There you go. My, you my only, name, just find me. Right, right. You can only find Shannon in real life. <laughs> it's the only place you're gonna find, find Shannon. Shannon. And don't just don't just show up unannounced. I'm just telling you that right now. Don't just show up unannounced, right? <laughs> there it is. There it is. But uh, yeah, continue to tune in. All that good stuff. Again, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, stay safe. Stay secure. <laughs>